I disavow you all. What the? What? <laughs> Consider my power in a hollow grave. Uh-oh. I live again. I live again indeed. Welcome. It's time for another Bash Plays. I have a friend who's been really begging me to do another Let's Play, so... Here it is. This one's for you, Justin. It's Blood from 1997. Monolith's classic game. This is a really kick-ass game that came out in 97 of course and uh, was made with the build engine so it's got those similarities to Duke Nukem that same engine uh, it's got lots of fun levels lots of like really unique weapons and enemies really damn cool game and pretty underrated although it, it has a really strong cult following so definitely a fun game I'm just gonna run through it I'm gonna run through all the I'm gonna run through all five episodes so the original four episodes of the game and then the uh, fifth additional episode called the Plasma Pack which was the expansion release for it. It's gonna be pretty cool I hope. So yeah, I've actually had this game for a while but it wasn't until around uh, August of 2011 that I really started to play it and uh, actually got into it and it was mostly because of the difficulty I always tend to overestimate my abilities in a first-person shooter for whatever reason, especially these old ones, and this game is really relentless. So you'll see me save scumming a lot because I'm a bitch pussy like Sub-Zero, but I'll try my best, I'll play the levels to the best of my knowledge, so not all secrets, but I'll try to. Try to get as many as I can and whatnot and show you everything that there is. Let me save here real quick. Establish our first save. Okay, so this is a bit of a different way. Usually you're supposed to go in that way, but this is actually a bit of a safer way if you can pull it off. Because you can get a lot of the cultists from behind. And that's a good thing because the cultists here have shotguns and kind of like shotgun guys in Doom, they're not too dangerous, but uh, if you get anywhere near them, uh, they can become a real serious problem. So definitely good to keep your distance. Let's blow up the level. Let's redecorate a little bit. Ah, classic build architecture. Destructible environments. Gotta love it. Let's see what's in here, what's in here, what's in here? Oh shit. There's a cult dust! Kick. I kick the ass. Yeah, rats in this game are actually somewhat of a threat. This is great right here. Cool. I got a key. Yeah, I hate the rats because they can actually hit you before you can hit them most of the time. Unless you shoot them, but I'm not even going to get a decent gun until the next map. <laughs> I love the same sense of humor. It's always nice to have a game that just doesn't take itself too seriously. Ooh, and secret. That's going to explode violently, I bet. Yeah, get used to that screen. It's only about a millisecond, but you'll be seeing it a lot because I, I save scum like crazy in this game. Not too confident in my abilities, but whatever. I'll kick I kick their ass to the end. The flare gun. Very versatile weapon, I love it. I kick their ass with it. I love them burning to death. Shit. Grab some TNT. This is another fucking badass weapon I love. <laughs> oh, cool. Oops. There we go. Oh, shit. What's going on here? He was, like, stuck. Uh-oh. The rats crawl out. I found a secret. Yeah, I'm, there's a lot of secrets in this I haven't found. I'll try to show you all the levels, including the secret maps, which I, most of which I know how to get to. 
some of them are pretty cool, like the Mall of the Dead in Episode 4. That's a fun one to play. Oh, go away, rats. Fuck off. I kicked they fucking ass. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad when rats are kicking your ass, but... God, they're annoying. I get to just be like the Strife rats that run around and just make noises. Let's see. Is there anything out here? You go away. There we go. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know if this does something. Beast Vision! Uh, I don't even know what Beast Vision really does. I think it just highlights the enemies in the dark so you can see them. Yeah, not very useful. It'd be better if it just lit up the whole level, kind of like the light amp from Doom. Uh, can't everything you want, I guess. Oh my god, more rats. I kick they ass. Just occurred to me. Yeah, yeah, I got all the secrets out here. Sometimes I forget for whatever reason. Okay. Go ahead and get this secret. You have to burn yourself a little bit, but it's worth it. Because you get this game's equivalent of a, a soul sphere from Doom, pretty much. The life seed, 100 extra health. Always good. Set them. Blaze! Saw me! Blaze! Saw me! Kick his head around. Alright, now there's a couple dudes out here, so I'm just gonna blow them up. Try to, anyway. Alright, got them both. Okay, so this is our exit switch. That's what they look like. Although there is one secret I'd like to get first. It's the only quote unquote super secret I know how to get in this game. And this is a this is a weapon you don't even get in this episode except for this secret, so really useful. It's basically the game's rocket launcher. Really cool. Alright. Well that's level one. So uh that's that. Check back for level two soon.